Anyway, let's do a second problem given at the placer test. Um, it's about a right angle triangle. This is the C 90 degrees angle here. And uh, we know that cosine of angle A is 5 over 8. And cosine of angle B, it should be found uh, by us right now. There is a list of uh, answers here. Uh, 3 over 8 is 1. The other one is uh, 5 over 8. And another one is square root of 39 over 8. Okay, so let's find this um, problem. Let's find this uh, value here. So cosine of A, of the angle A, is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. We can assume that if we know that value is 5 over 8, this might be a multiple of 5 over a multiple of 8. It can be 5 over 8, can be 10 over 16, over, or... Uh, 20 over 32 or so. So, but the value itself is by 5 over 8. Uh, the cosine of B, that will be this side, which we don't know with what might be, over 8. A multiple of x over uh, a multiple of 8. Uh, on the same time, sine of A is the same thing. So, cosine of B, which we have to find out, equals actually sine of A. Sine of A is the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. So it is x over the multiple of 8. Uh, so uh, we can uh, also use the formula, one of the basic formulas in trigonometry, which is sine over, uh, sine over a certain angle a to the power of 2 plus cosine of the same angle to the power of 2 is always a big one. So in this case, we can try this formula and try to find the sine of a of the angle A, which is the same like cos sine of B. Uh, so sine of A will be power to the power of 2 plus cosine of A squared, which is 5 over 8 squared, is always 1. Let's find out sine over A. Let's use sine, instead of sine over A, let's uh, use a, a lowercase a. So A squared plus 25 over 64 equals 1. Now let's multiply on with 64 on both sides. So that will be 64a squared plus 25 equals 64 here also, 64 times 1. Now let's uh, subtract 25 and uh, move it on the other side. Somehow 64a squared equals 64 minus 25, which is 39. Um, all right. Now let's divide by 64 on both sides, and that will be a squared equals 39 over 64 and now if we apply a radical on both sides we get a equals square root of 39 over 8 so the uh, a as i said is sine of a actually is the same thing as cosine of b so in this case the value of cosine of b is square root of 39 over 8 that's the uh, answer here. So I think that's the way to solve this kind of problem.